Hello, my Mystic Tribe. This is your reading for August 10th, 2021. I am recording outside, and I do apologize if I don't get everything in total frame because it's actually hard to see my screen with all the sunlight. But as always, the timestamps will be in the description box below. This may or may not be your reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and timing is fluid. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel if I could quit losing cards. And if you like a private reading, do make sure you check out the description box as well. We're going to go ahead and get a general message for the collective and get into the reads. <clears throat> we have hope. This is the star card. So there is hope in the situation. Whatever you are going through. Don't give up hope, is what I'm hearing. Okay, I don't have a standout here for the card, but I will put it over here. So now we will go ahead and get into the individual readings. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your reading for August 10th, 2021. We have the Temperance card. Temperance speaks of moderation, patience, Also is a symbol of healing. Knight of Pentacles. And it's also about caution. So I feel like right now, whatever it is that you are going through, you're going to have to be a little bit patient. Because I get this image of what you want things to speed up, but Spirit is saying, you know, slow and steady. You are going to make some progress on the 10th. There is, there is a, a sense of hope. Things are going to improve. But I'm also hearing that you need to take things slow. And things are going to stabilize with the Four of Wands. This is about building firm foundations, solid foundations, leveling up. So if you're looking to level up in a situation, look for a relationship to go to the next level, whatever your scenario is, it's getting there. It's just very slow. And to, and Spirit is saying, you just have to have a little bit of patience. Take things at a slow pace. Moderation. Don't rush it. Because the end result is going to be well worth it. There's There might even be, for some, healing in a situation that you might be in. In a relationship. If things have been rocky, they're going to slowly work their way out. The wrinkles are going to go bye byes But anyhow, this is what I have for you, Aries. Hello, Taurus. This is your reading for August 10th, 2021. Okay, this card wants to stay out. And this is the King of Pentacles. This is you being in control. You may be taking on some kind of leadership role in business where you might be dealing with a boss. But this is you, you're very abundant right now and very generous family man. You might even be focused on family. And we're gonna see if the wind cooperates with me here. Sorry about that, Taurus. As I went to grab that card, the wind went and I knocked over my tripod. Okay. So we do have the King of Pentacles. And I'm not going to edit that out. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And we have the Hope card here. Okay, let's see what else comes up. Two of Wands at a crossroads. You might be at a business decision, making business decisions here. But it does feel like that you are planning. You're planning your next strategy, your next move. This could even be in regards to your home life. However, it resonates. The Fool. This is a new start, a new beginning. 
So what I'm feeling is going on here, Taurus, is that you are definitely in a space of starting over. You may be thinking about a new path. This could be a new career path. But you're definitely in a space that you, I feel like you're dealing with somebody in authority, probably a business owner, that you are contemplating on moving on in a new direction. I don't see you actually doing that on this day, but I think it's definitely on your mind. You're weighing your options and you are carefully weighing both sides, staying or leaving. Take this as it resonates, personal life or general life. So this is, this is basically a decision making, trying to decide. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for August 10th, 2021. See if we could keep your cards under control. The wind like picked up and knocked over my tripod for Taurus and everything. So let's see what we got going on here. You have the Ace of Wands. I feel like you ha you are under some sense of creativity, a new creative idea that is sparking a new path. Ace is our beginnings. And the Ace of Wands is a passion. And it's an idea. It's creativity. So I feel like you, you are being very passionate about this new beginning here. Queen of Wands. Damn. You are definitely in a space of confidence. A space of courage. Ambition. So I feel like that you are going to be very ambitious on the 10th. You're starting some kind of new project, new collaboration. This could even be a new passionate romance with the King of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So we have a King and Queen on board here with the Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely some sense of strong attraction here. You know, this creativity could also be indicating pregnancy. I am just putting that out there. So, if you don't want a baby, make sure you are careful and taking proper precautions. But, you know, we, we see this and we see this passion and I'm thinking sex, highly um, physical attraction here. This could be somebody new that you are meeting that is going to be a strong physical attraction. Um, just be careful of the baby carriage here. Spirit did tell me that for somebody. So, yeah, look for some fun. And that's what I have for you. Bye. Hello, Cancer. This is your reading for August 10th, 2021. We have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is representing not being happy, being dissatisfied, feeling like you deserve more that there has to be more to life than this maybe a sense of boredom but also concentrating on the empty cups and there might be something come up an offer come up that you couldn't miss if you're not watching to a pentacles maybe you've received an offer and you are contemplating it. I do feel that there's something coming in. A communication, um, a contract, a collaboration, or somebody maybe even in love and romance could be somebody inviting you to coffee or inviting you to dinner, lunch, whatever the scenario is. And maybe you are trying to think about whether this is what you, if you really want to take this offer up or not. And you are going back and forth. The Spirit is showing me that you can't um, teeter on this very long. Um, we have the Emperor here, Aries energy. So you might be dealing with a place of somebody in a place of authority. There could be an offer coming in. You could be dealing with attorneys, or you could be dealing with uh, somebody who feels like that they are large and in charge, and you're trying to decipher whether you want to deal with this person or not. For others of you, this could be you. Hey, deciding to take control, 
not uh, no longer being on the fence. Like you've been kind of seesawing back and forth and waiting on your ships to come in. And I feel like they're finally going to come in, but you could miss the boat if you're not on the lookout. So lift your head up. And I, and I feel like that this, whatever it is that's coming in, is going to give you a sense of power, a sense of control of the situation finally. And I'm being drawn back to the hope card that there could be this renewed sense of hope coming to you. Because I feel like that there is a, an answer, um, a solution coming to you, maybe even some good news that you've taken all this time to really build up to. And the emperor is also somebody who takes action. So for some of you, instead of sitting, contemplating, going back and forth, what you're gonna do, you, you are taking some action on this day. Finally doing it, okay? And that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hello, Leo. <clears throat> this is your reading for August 10th, 2021. Let's see what your energies are. You have the Five of Wands. So there could be some conflicts going on. You might be in the middle of a conflict. King of Swords with some place, somebody in a place of authority. Uh, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this could also be your energy needing to make a choice and decision and be decisive and make your decision final. No more going back and forth. <clears throat> Taking yourself out of the drama and seeing things very clearly, seeing the toxicity with the devil card, Capricorn energy. So I feel like you're dealing with a toxic person, a narcissistic person here. And they are causing a lot of drama uh, and conflict and they they are like trying to put you right in the middle of it and I feel like with the star card as our main focus for the collective I think that you are being divinely guided away from this scenario from this situation that you need to pull yourself back and if you're going to cut somebody off if you're going to cut somebody out, the drama queen or the drama king, whoever this is, you need to be decisive and make your, design, your decision final. You, instead of allowing them to keep drawing you back in, there's this temptation of wanting to be in the middle of it, wanting to be the peacekeeper or wanting to, to try to settle the dispute but maybe it's between other people. Maybe it's between siblings, between other family members. You, maybe it's in the workplace. But I feel like Spirit is saying, you need to take yourself out of it. Let the other parties deal with their own drama. Don't be part of it, is what Spirit is saying. Okay, that's your message. Love you all. Bye. Hello Virgo, this is your reading for August 10th, 2021. We're going to get your daily cosmic news here. What's going on around your environment? General life, love life, but however it resonates. Okay, we have the hanged man. This is, this is Pisces energy. You may be in a space of feeling like your future hangs in the balance. You're, you're a little bit uncertain on how to proceed forward. The hangman represents taking some time to think. Some I feel like alone time. And not allowing distractions. King of Swords. This is you trying to clear your mind, clear your head. So I feel like on the 10th that you're going to be needing some alone time in order to clear your head, clear your thoughts, to gain some kind of control over your thoughts. 
death. This is a transformation, a change, a sudden ending. So you might be dealing with a big life change here. You got two, you've got the King of Swords fl uh, being flanked by two major Arcana cards. So I feel that there's an ending that is occurring, whether this is to, for a job or a relationship. But the, the, uh, an ending that is going to transform you. And you're going to be spending a lot of time in contemplation, trying to find that answer, trying to find enlightenment. And you're trying to decide, okay, this is over. How do I move forward? What do I do next? And I feel Spirit is trying to tell you there is hope in the future, that there is divine guidance, and this there is a shift in your long-term plans, your long-term goals. And I'm feeling like this is much needed time out to yourself. Turn off your phone, turn off social media, I mean, all that stuff. And really do some deep soul searching I feel this is very fresh but you do need some time I'm hearing time to digest what is going on and you're trying to analyze everything that has happened the accumulation of events but I do feel you're going to become very crystal clear as to why things are ended. There's an aha moment occur happening. A sense of understanding. And with endings, there's always new beginnings. So it's about you getting your life back on track, back together again. Okay, this is what I have for you. Bye. Hello Libra, this is your reading for August 10th, 2021. We have the Ten of Wands. I think this is similar energy as we had before. Carrying a heavy load. Feeling burdened. Seven of Swords. Similar energy. Trying to figure out how, your way out of a situation. Ten of Wands. Or Ten of Swords. While wow, you feel really pinned down and trapped. You're trying to figure out how I am going to get out of this. You need an answer, but I think there is some kind of learning lesson from this, not to overtax yourself. And, you know, the tens are endings and there's new beginnings. So I feel there's a learning lesson here and I do feel that the worst is just about over. There is a sense of hope here. And, I'm, and, there, and the star card is wish fulfillment and I'm hearing a divine answer. There might even be some divine intervention that is going to help you escape something, escape a situation, whether this is financial or if this is a toxic relationship, a job. You know, you, everybody's scenario is going to be different. But I feel like that you are dropping the wands. You're taking this experience forward. And... There is, an, there is a sense of answers that are coming. I think there is some kind of solution. The sun is coming up. So if you were going through a dark period, that cloud is going to be lifting. It's just that on the 10th, you're going to feel very strapped, very restricted, very and worried about a situation on how you're going to Make your way out of it. However that resonates, Libra. But Spirit wants you to know there is hope. There is an answer. And the answer is coming. You just have to have a little bit of faith. And lift your head up and move forward. 
Okay, that's what I have for you, Libra. Bye. Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for August 10th, 2021. We have the Six of Swords. This could involve traveling, but this is also weathering a storm. Being persistent, being constant, being determined. I feel there's a determination to get through the weather, get through the storm. The Emperor, taking a sense of control, taking action. So you might be in a space of taking action to try to move things along, to try to smooth, maybe even smooth ruffled feathers. But I get this inkling of, you're going through a storm right now. Either, I mean, the waters are choppy. But I feel like that you are trying to take a sense of control, trying to bring some kind of structure to a situation. Nine of Cups, okay? Because you feel the situation is your wish fulfillment. And you are fighting for that wish. And you may be taking a stand on something. And being like, listen, I'm not dealing with this anymore. This, ha this behavior has to end. I'm hearing behavior modification. You might even be giving ultimatums out, but I feel more like you're weathering the storm. You're taking action in order to get through that storm and you're, you're taking a bold action. You are really standing your ground and be, you are being an authority because it's all about at the end of the day, your wish fulfillment, what you, what you want, your, I'm hearing birthright. However that, whoever that is for, it's like this, this is my right. It's my right to be happy. This is my, it's my right. This is my wish. This is what I want. And I am doing whatever I need to do to get there. Even though it is stormy. I am sticking it out. That's kind of the energy I'm getting from you for the 10th. Okay? Well, that's what I have for you. Bye. Hello, Sagittarius. This is your reading for August 10th, 2021. I almost said October. So whatever this reading is about may have something to do with October. Okay? So let's see where this is going. Ace of Cups. This is a new path, new path in love. This could be a new romance. You know, there could be a romance that is going on that is still very fresh. It may even mature come October. Nine of Wands, okay? Um, let's see where else this is going. And Nine of Swords. Damn! Okay. On the 10th, you may be concerned and worried about a relationship with someone very close to your heart. Okay? That may be a little bit on the defensive side or they may be, ha they may have a wall up. There may be a block in communications. Okay. I feel like this has gone to gotten to a certain point and that maybe that they are stalling and it has got you very worried. That is kind of your energy for the 10th. But with this hope card, it's like saying, don't give up hope on it. Be patient because this is divinely orchestrated. All situations, all relationships, general life, love life, there are bumps. And I kind of feel that that's what this is, a bump in the road. There might even be a sense of fear because things are getting really serious and afraid or waiting for the next shoe to drop or waiting for the rug to get pulled out from under you, or they are. So just keep in mind, they may be a little bit standoffish, but the key is don't worry about it. You've gotten this far with this person there's this is just a little bit of a wall here 
and try not to stress over it and just keep moving go about your daily life and the divine is working here okay but that's what i have for you sagittarius hello capricorn this is your reading for august 10th 2021 You have the Wheel of Fortune. There is a turning point happening on the 10th. Um, let's see where this is going. It's like something is gonna change. The Wheel of Fortune is usually positive. The Fool. Absolutely, there's a big change coming that is bringing about a new start, a new path. A totally new chapter. We have endings and beginnings here. There is hope on this new path. This is taking that leap of faith and the Hierophant and being committed to it, being committed to the new path. This could also be bringing about a new commitment, a, a, a relationship leveling up to a committed relationship. For others of you, I feel for most that this is needing to have some faith. A situation you thought may have been daunting, may have been maybe feeling hopeless in it, not knowing what to do, feeling like your hands are tied, you know, you know, things are not going your way, but there's a turning point on the 10th. I feel like luck is coming your way, that there is this new start, this new path, this new chapter that you just have to commit yourself to and have some faith and hope in this. The situation that you are worried about is going to work out, okay? <clears throat> wow, that, wow, powerful reading. But that's what I have for you, my Capricorns. Hello, Aquarius. This is your reading for August 10th, 2021. You have the Hierophant. A commitment, higher level commitment. This could be a marriage. This could also be having faith and hope. I'm also hearing status quo for some reason. Temperance. And you have the Ten of Wands. So what I feel like, if you have been struggling, you may feel burdened. You may feel like life has been holding you back or something has been holding you back. By the end of the day though, you're gonna be able to put that behind. Your patience is being is paying off here and your faith. You've had, I feel like you've had a lot of faith in this and you've held on to your faith. You've been struggling, but you knew that a higher power was at work, whoever this is for, okay? and. There is this sense of just waiting it out. There's a sense of a situation healing. This could even be healing of a committed relationship that the struggles that you've been going through are coming to an end. I'm also hearing compromise for some of you coming to an agreement with another person in order to bring about a sense of peace and harmony again. So, kind of take this as it resonates. There's a couple scenarios I threw out here. Everybody's situation is different. So take what resonates, leave the rest. But the, I think the important message here is the struggles are about to end, okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Bye. Hello, Pisces. <clears throat> this is your reading for August 10th, 2021. Spirit's been pretty straight to the point all during these readings. Let's see what your messages are. You have the Knight of Wands. This is action, taking action. 
and this is very swift and fast maybe not quite as fast as the knight of swords but this is following your passion taking action this could also be indicating a change of residence justice okay i'm hearing swift justice being served in a situation on the 10th this is i'm hearing setting the record straight and i'm hearing redemption the chariot success and moving forward being able to put it behind you and not think about it anymore the chariot also moves very fast and i'm getting the vibe of justice or karma sweeping in suddenly and swiftly you know it's like bam wham bam thank you ma'am okay so just so you know you are going to come out of this successfully justice is being served in your favor and you are going to be able to move on for some of you you may have been dealing with a landlord or a ten, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say a tenant I feel a landlord that might have been difficult. There might have been some legal issues with, but you're winning it, you're successful, and you're gonna be able to put this behind you. I know that was very specific, that was for somebody. But for the general, on a general sense for Pisces, there is a change that is happening, that there is swift justice occurring, that you are gonna be successful, that you're going to be able to finally put this situation behind you. But that's what I have for you, Pisces. Bye.